let's say that you look at your let's say if I do this one thing really well, I've had a pretty good day out there. Like that you put on more priority on than anything else. I mean, I, th I think, you know, always protecting the football is the biggest thing, you know, trying to keep a zero in that interception column is always awesome. Um, and then on top of that, my completion percentage, you know, being able to give my guys a chance, being able to, you know, have an opportunity for them to catch the ball. I think that's really what I pride myself on. Kevin, I'm sorry, I'm yeah. We kind, of, we kind of talked about it before, yeah, sure. your relationship, well, the history of the here. Yeah. You said you had a relationship when Mike was around, you met Jacoby. Yeah. How much does it mean to you to be the next guy in line, kind of follow the with those guys? What is that? Yeah, it means the world to me. You know, I mean, I think everyone as a recruit, you understand, you know, NC State really is a QBU. I mean, the amount of everything that they produce on the next level, you know, they hold their quarterbacks to a really high standard. And, you know, the fan base expects a great quarterback. I mean, especially with a guy like Mike Glennon, Phillip Rivers, Ryan Finley, Jacoby Brissett, Russell Wilson. I mean, the list goes on. And, you know, when you commit to a school like this, you have to understand those type of shoes you have to fill. I imagine reminders of those guys all around Burkson, probably the QB runners. Yeah. I wish you to look around like, you know, I want to my face in one day and live up to what they did. Yeah, I, I mean, I do. I think ever since I first walked into that QB room, you know, listening in and understanding how Ryan Finley operates, seeing his picture around a little bit, you know, that that was always a goal for me. You know, I want to be up there with those guys. I want to be, you know, classified in that category of QBU. And, you know, for me, you know, the process never stops for me. Um, I know I still have a long way to go. But, I mean, just to be in those shoes, being able to put on that same jersey as those guys used to, I mean, it's an honor itself. You guys – Obviously, I've gotten a lot of hype. Right? We've talked about that for weeks. You guys have that chip on your shoulder still. How have you maybe seen that play out in practice where you're like, we're saying we don't want to be complacent, but how have you seen it out there so far? Yeah, I think just the way that each position group is competing, you know, not only on the field, but you see it off the field, you know. As soon as you get into the film room, you know, guys are anxious and eager to see, you know, who can figure out who made the first mistake, you know, who can figure out how to correct someone in their position room. You know, that even just translate into the players' lounge. You know, guys are competing every day, playing ping pong, pool, and, you know, it's nonstop, but I think that's what this team is all about, you know. Anything that's really done on the field, you know, we didn't accomplish anything yet. All the preseason stuff, everything that's being acknowledged, you know, is always great. But at the same time, we still didn't accomplish anything. And I think you could see that within every positions group. Defensive guys have talked a lot about kind of what challenge is to go up against you and kind of the offense that you lead on the flip side. How challenging is it to go up against them and the defense that they yeah. present every day? Extremely, extremely challenging. I mean, first of all, Coach Gibson's scheme is just tremendous. He does a really good job of really coaching all those guys up. And at the same time, just the type of, you know, fire that they bring on the defense. You know, every day they're going to let you know that they're out there. They're going to let you know whether they sack me or not. Um, and, I mean, those guys are just constantly flying around. But the best thing about our defense, you know, whether we have a bad play or whether they make a good play or we make a good play, you know, there's always conversation, uh, whether that's off the field after practice, whether that's on the field at practice. And we're just trying to, you know, just kind of help each other out while we, you know, figure out what we see from each other. Is there anyone in particular that lets you, that you know whenever they sack you a little louder maybe? Uh, I mean, I can't say anyone in particular. <laughs> it's the whole defense. Um, but I will say, once you get Corey Durden going, I mean, it's kind of <laughs> hard to stop him. How do you like having the, uh, the uh, all access crew around? Did it take some getting used to having a boom mic hanging over your head and being mic'd up all the time? Honestly, not really. Okay. Um, I think it was pretty cool. My first time meeting those guys was at the ACC Media Day. Okay. And I mean, they've been nothing but genuine to all of us. You know, they just told us, you know, just be ourselves. And honestly, at this point, you don't even really recognize that they're around. So it's been great having them around. Are you a fan of uh, the HBO show Hard Knocks? It's kind yes. Of, it's like being a Hard Knocks. Yeah, it is. It is. And it's going to be pretty cool to see in the end, like, having different guys mic'd up, being for the world to see their personalities and just the way that we love each other, you know, just being able to see that it's really genuine, that it's true. And you know, you'll, you'll see once it comes out, who's ever mic'd up, all of these guys out here are good dudes. What, what was the toughest lesson you learned from like your, that first year when you were thrown in to be a starter to where you are now? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure that things you learned then kind of hang with you now as an experienced quarterback. Yeah, I think, you know, one of the biggest things is pretty obvious. It's hard to win games. It's definitely hard to win games, especially in this conference. Um, and you know, for me in 2019, which feels like forever ago, you know, I didn't really understand that um, until I really got out there, got my first start, and you really realize how difficult it is to win games. And you know, you just got to get back to the drawing board, and you got to be your biggest critique. And that was my biggest thing that I was always very hard on myself. So I mean, critiquing myself was never a problem. 
but really processing everything and putting it back onto the field and not making the same mistake twice was my biggest thing. What does uh, Anthony Belton bring to this offensive line? Oh, Anthony Belton is having an awesome camp. Not only just as a player, but as a person. You know, he's always joking around, always has a smile on his face. And I mean, just the type of player that he is, I mean, his personality isn't the same as, as he is as a player. Um, and what I mean by that is as a personality, he's always joking around. You'll see him on TikTok dancing. I like to joke with him about that. But I mean, on the field, he's completely locked in. I mean, he knows that he has big shoes to fill, um, but at the same time, he's embracing it. He knows that the offensive line is counting on him and he's been doing a great job. What are some of the things 